I will not stop until we get the magma camo today. And luckily for us, or unluckily, however you want to look at it, we have a 1,154,903 XP out of the 1,233,000. So we need to get 100,000 XP today. And to get the XP, I'm going to be trying to get all my ARs forged today. I think I only have like three or four left. And I'm starting out here with the Holger 556. And actually has a really weird challenge for forged. And I have to get non-drill charge underbarrel kills with it. I need 25 of them. So I'm coming in with a Jack Purifier because it seemed like the most fun. And for our grind here, I went ahead and hopped on meat 24-7. I still got to give big ups to Sledgehammer for even just naming the map this and then having a 24-7 playlist of it. Like I'm, I'm so childish. Like them just throwing meat in here and, and putting 24-7 next to it. This is just already an all-time map. On top of it, I think for my little pea brain, this might be the best like new map we've gotten since shoot house because personally a lot of the new maps that have come out like they've been all right they've been decent i feel like shoot house has been the best up until meat has come out because it's not like a giant map where you have to run for a half hour to even get into an engagement with somebody but it's also not like shipment small where you're getting like spawn killed constantly it's like the perfect size map it's not really a three lane either i mean it kind of is but it's got a few twists and turns to kind of separate it from a map like Shoe House. And it's a nice change of pace from shipment. Instead of like hopping on there, dropping like maybe 50 kills and 80 deaths, I'll hop on here and get like 30 to 40 kills and 60 deaths. Probably even more than that since we're over here just using a flamethrower. I also got to hand it to him there. This challenge is actually kind of fun. Definitely has nothing to do with the weapon, but it's cool that they threw this in here. It gives you kind of a reason to use some of the underbarrel attachments. I think the underbarrel shotgun probably would have been the smarter move, but we're not about smart over here. Ooh. There we go. A little triple kill. Almost a quad. The flamethrower is sick. Such a cool concept for underbarrel attachment. I guess while we're grinding out these camos, trying to get this XP, I'm gonna I'm gonna ramble on for a bit if you guys don't mind. Now we have a segment here for our multiplayer videos where I like to ramble on about sports. I call it Gamer Guy Does Sports Talk. And in a recent zombies video, I said I was gonna touch on uh, the controversial call in the last Lions game. But I haven't gotten around to playing multiplayer before then. And there's our Forge camo. Let's go. But it's been a week now since that call. Since we got that illegal touching on our two-point conversion against the Cowboys. Which shouldn't have happened, but uh, I don't know. I don't care at this point. It would have been nice because I think we could have potentially gotten the one seed and gotten a bye week. Or we at least would have been like solidified as the two seed. I guess it don't really matter anyways. The NFL got the, the games that it wanted. Uh, we played the Vikings in one. Uh, Laporta got hurt, I, but I think from what they're saying is he's probably going to be good to go in our, our next game. I should probably switch weapons. I'm rambling so much, I don't even know what I'm doing. So I'm glad that injury wasn't too serious, and hopefully he'll be back for our next game. But if not, like, no sweat. It is unfortunate that he kind of went down in a meaningless game, but I understand why we had our guys out there. Like, we, a lot of our team doesn't have a whole lot of playoff experience and you want to keep momentum going or at least keep the energy up going into the next week, especially since now we're going against the Rams. Like I said, the NFL got getting the, the schedule they wanted, having Stafford make his return to Detroit for the first time. Goff going against the Rams in, in, in a playoff game. I also got the Cowboys going against the Packers. So Packers going against their former coach. There's just a whole lot of storylines for this playoffs and it couldn't have gone any better for the NFL, I don't think. And after the whole like illegal touching call, everyone was saying that, oh, the NFL scripted. You know, there's a big conspiracy. The games are rigged. I honestly don't think that. I just think it's like a, a ref issue where they just have this ego to them and they cannot be told that they are wrong at any point in time. And if they make a mistake, you know, they're not going to fess up to it, which is the worst part about it. But what can you do? Oh, we can't do anything. Apparently we're lagging the fuck out. Sick. I remember what I was talking about because it took so long for the game to reconnect. But outside of football, we got season one reloaded coming up soon. Ooh, and we got two nice little sliding ADS kills that what you need for forge for this weapon. Not my favorite challenge, but we only need 10 of them. But with season one reloaded, we're supposed to be getting ranked play. And I liked ranked play back in MW2, but after like the first season, it just felt like way too much of a grind. Because the camos for it were kind of like mid up until the end there where they started adding camos that like actually reflect your rank and by that time i wasn't really playing it too much so i didn't really go for it but for ranked play in this if they add some reward for it 100 wins i think is just too much playing 100 games of ranked is insane those games are taking like what 20 something minutes for each game and if 
you win all your games. You still have to play 100 full games just to get the reward. But odds are, you're not going to be winning every single game. You're at least going to be playing like double that. And that is just a ridiculous time sink to put in to just get a, a reward for it. I still think I'm going to play it for the first season. I'm going to see how I like it, see how the rewards go. Because ranked can just be fun on its own. I don't want to be trying to play nothing but ranked the entire season trying to get up to 100 wins. I think maybe it should be something like kills based or, you know, objective based. Like have this many points on the objective. Like I understand why they do wins because they want you to play as a team and actually go towards like winning the game. And maybe just going for kills would counteract that. People will be playing like hard point and just only going for like the highest kill game they can get instead of you know, actually helping their team try to win. So uh, change it to objective could help. But I know that like in modes like hard point, there are players that don't really go on the hard point and they mainly just like go for rotations and try to keep other players off of it while their teammates capture it. Like, it's almost like there's positions for some teams or some ways that, you know, teams play their games. But at the very least, if they're going to make us go for the 100 wins, give us a good camo right off the bat. I don't want none of that bullshit that they put in the last game, like a, a white and, and gray camo with a little red lines on it. That shit's ass. Oh, and speaking of ass, there's Forged. I think we got one more AR to go. I need to get multi-kills with it. Well, outside of ranked, I think we're getting like an LMG and, you know, maybe some more aftermarket parts with our weekly challenges, assuming that they actually let us use them. Because as the time I'm recording this, the tier is still broken. We can't use the sniper version of the tier, which sucks. I have no idea what else they're adding in. Come on, I'm over here sweating my ass off on the hard point of meat. Where's my camo? There it is. I said what I meant and I meant what I said. But I'm pretty sure we got all the forge camos done that I had to do today. And I'm going to go ahead and assume we don't got the magma camo yet. Actually, I think there's one more weapon I can do. Let's bring out that XRX stalker or XRK stalker or whatever. I don't even know what challenge they got to do with it. I think it's like three kills and one mag. Let's see if I can just get one. Ah. Oh. Oh, getting shots like that, like in real time, always feels like it's going to be sick. But I know when I watch that back in editing, it's going to be like the slowest, sloppiest three piece you've ever seen. Oh, geez. Just kill me now. Oh, that's our camo right there. Let's go. A nice little triple kill to get forged. We got a decent amount of forge done today. We got to be getting close to starting on priceless. Actually, probably not. I don't think I've done the SMGs, the LMGs, the battle rifles, the marksman rifles. We're getting close to halfway there on Forge. I'll say that. Oh, this is perfect. This could be the perfect ending. 69 kills. I was putting my time on the hard point. I'm getting ready for rank. Give me enough XP for this camo. Don't look at the 60 deaths, though. Then close your eyes. Come on. <gasps> we got it. Let's go. Or did we? Or did they decide to triple the amount of XP we need again? No, it says maximum points obtained. It says I have the camo. Let's go check and see if we do. Oh, we do have it. All right, let's hop in game and see what it looks like there. This camo looks sick. I don't know if it's fully worth the 1.2 million XP you need to obtain to get it. But I guess it's a nice little reward. I mean, I kind of like jumped the gun. I definitely didn't get the fastest. There's still eight days left on this event, so I probably could have just played casually and then got it towards the end of it. But it's a decent reward. It's a decent looking camo. If they come out like this, guns blazing for the, the ranked camo, I think we'll be all right. They've done some pretty good event camos so far. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.